Hey there, installing Java on your Raspberry Pi is as easy as Pi. And so in this video, I'll be showing you how you can either install the latest version of Java for the Raspberry Pi or OpenJDK 8 if you wanted to use a slightly older one for compatibility. And so first of all, let's get started by either SSHing into your Raspberry Pi or you can just open up the terminal by hitting Control Alt T. Let's run sudo apt update. This will help get our Raspberry Pi's package index up to date. And then after that, the next command depends on which version of the OpenJDK you want installed. So if you want the latest and greatest, you should be running sudo apt install default dash JDK. But otherwise, if you need to install Java 8, you can run sudo apt install openjdk dash 8 dash JDK. So as a general rule of thumb, if you don't know which Java version to install, I do recommend just sticking with the latest since it has a bunch of new security fixes. In fact, you might even see new performance improvements. So the installation might take a few minutes, but once it's complete, you can run Java dash version. That should not only confirm that you have Java installed successfully, but you should also be able to see version information as well. But wait, there's still one more thing left for us to do. If you plan on using any major open source library like Apache Tomcat or Maven, you'll need to update the Java home variable on your Raspberry Pi. Because if you don't, you could be running into a bunch of different issues when you're using external tools that rely on Java. So first of all, let's go ahead and determine where Java was installed. You can do this by running the following sudo update dash alternatives command. And yes, you can find this command in the video description. Since we've only installed one Java version, let's just hit enter. But if you have multiple versions of Java installed, this is your chance to choose the one that you want to use by default. Let's go ahead and copy the entire path of the Java version that we selected. And then after that, we're going to modify the environments file using the following sudo nano command. Once you have the file open, let's go ahead and add a line that sets the Java underscore home variable by pasting the path that we just copied earlier. Now you can save this file by hitting control X followed by Y and then enter. And to get these changes to reflect, it's always a good idea to reboot our Raspberry Pi. You can do this by running the sudo reboot command. And then once you're back online, you can do a sanity check by running an echo command followed by Java underscore home in all caps. You should be able to see that the variable now points to where Java was installed. And that's pretty much it. Java is a major object oriented programming language. So you can't really go wrong with having it installed on your Raspberry Pi. There's also tons of different Java projects online that have been done for the Raspberry Pi. So whether you want to dive into a web project using Java or you simply want to control the LED lights on your Raspberry Pi, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. And for more on Java or the Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to this channel.